hello how to solve for t in this equation t square minus t raised to power 3 is equal to 36 but before we proceed please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you solution we have the given equation t square minus t raised to power 3 is equal to 36 then this is same thing as t square minus t raised to power 3 minus 36 is equal to 0. We have t square minus t raised to power 3 minus 36 can be written as minus bracket 27 plus 9 is equal to zero t square minus t raised to power three minus twenty seven minus nine is equal to zero t square minus t raised to power three minus twenty seven can be written as minus t raised to power three then minus nine can be written as minus three square is equal to zero. Now let us pair this with this and this with this. Therefore, we have t square minus t square. Then minus here will be t raised to power t plus t raised to power t is equal to zero. Take note of this that if you have a square minus b square this is equal to a plus b bracket bracket a minus b then from here if you have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 this is equal to a plus b bracket bracket a square minus a b plus b square. Now let's substitute here where a is equal to t and b is equal to t. Now we have t plus t bracket t minus t minus here is t plus t bracket t square minus t t plus t square is equal to zero now here t plus t is common let's bring it out we have t plus t bracket bracket if you divide this by this we have t minus t then minus if you divide the whole of this by this we have t square minus t t plus t square that is 9 is equal to 0 now we have t plus t bracket bracket t minus t let's open with this negative we have minus t square plus t t minus 9 is equal to 0 so this is t plus t bracket bracket here is minus t square plus 3t plus t that is 4t then minus 3 minus 9 that is minus 12 is equal to 0. there are two cases here the first case is t plus 3 is equal to 0 and the second case is minus t square plus 4t 
minus 12 is equal to 0. Then from here, t is equal to minus 3. This is the first value of t. And from here, we need to divide the whole of this equation by minus 1. If you divide the whole of this by minus 1, we have t square minus 4t plus 12 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Let's solve this using quadratic general formula. From a quadratic formula, t is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then from this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4, and then c is 12. t is equal to minus bracket minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by c, that is 12, over 2 multiplied by 1. t is equal to minus times minus 4, this is 4, plus or minus square root of minus 4 square, that is 16, minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 12, that is 48 over 2. Then t is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 48, that is minus 32 over 2. And this is the same thing as 4 plus or minus, the whole of this can be written as square root of 16 multiplied by 2 multiplied by minus 1 over 2. Then t is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 16, that is 4. Square root of minus 1 is i, then root 2 over 2. This is the same thing as 4 over 2 plus or minus 4 over 2 i root 2. 2 here 1, 2 here 2. 2 here 1, 2 here 2. t is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 i root 2. These are other values of t. Therefore, our final answer are t1 is equal to minus 3. Then t2 is equal to 2 plus 2i root 2. And t3 is equal to 2 minus 2i root 2. You can see that here we have one Three root and then two complex root. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.